landmine is start to put in Cambodia since the Vietnam War and in Cambodia civil war as well. And most landmines put in Cambodia by the Khmer Rouge, Vietnam, Cambodia government and some American did. And most landmines lay in Cambodia a lot in 1980. 1979 the Vietnam invade Cambodia, pushed for Khmer Rouge to the northwest part. And then Khmer Rouge lay a lot of landmines to protect themselves to stop the Vietnam. The Vietnam army is scary, Khmer Rouge so you came back. They put a lot of landmines for both sides of the mine. So nowadays Cambodia still got a lot of landmines still left on the ground near the Thailand border, the northwest part. At some load, Malai, Pailin, Perva here, near the Thailand border. And still a lot of people injured or died from landmines. Most of uh, the people injured or died, farmers work in the field, people scrap metal. And some kid they found a mine missing like a toy because many landmines, plastic design. Yes. And this is the war museum it ran by the Ministry of National Defense. Fourteen years ago open here, before here. It used to be minefield but right now it's safe. A lot of fighting around here, a lot killed between Khmer Rouge and Cambodian Army and nearby here military base. Our war museum collect a lot of old equipment designed by Russia, China, America and Vietnam. Since Vietnam and Cambodia war around killing field, genocide, Pol Pot time. I'm very glad that you spend your time to walk around and share the Cambodian history with me here. If you got any question you can ask. Um, what is the relation between women and landmines? Are there many women who work on the landmine sites? Some, but uh, some women, they injured from landmine. They have problem in the family because the husband bye-bye and find other lady. And some women now they live around and they no much helping from our government, like no much helping them. So we hope if in the future we have the big support from other countries around the world helping them, it's very good. Children, women and men. Today we glad that we happy we got the Anko Children Hospital below fifteen years old free. But we pray future we have free hospital for adult older people and for the landmine victim. Because medical is very expensive. Are there lots of women who work to help restore lives after the landmines? Not much. No. Not much. And is most it people men. Men, that's right. And most they uh, work to remove mine in Cambodia now. Most they are the former Khmer Rouge soldier. Because Pol Pot leader Khmer Rouge, he died in 1998. After he died, all the Khmer Rouge surrender government. Government collect those people to remove landmine because they put it a big donate and support from Prince Diana charity called Hello Trust. Now Prince William continue that job. And why do you think it's mostly men who work in landmines? Because we have uh, landmine is a very dangerous job to remove and most of brave is uh, men. But in the war, not just the men, we have a lot of women was fighting in the war too. But we just need the men because we need the women stay at home. In Cambodia culture, if we after married, women at home, not working like men, men have to find job, earn the money back home. Women take care of the children, that enough. So this is the minefield, just model to show is not active. Right now I would like to show about different type of landmine that they lay in Cambodia. Many landmine they lay on the ground and some landmine they lay above up the ground but it is high. Trip wire connected to other one. They call the fragment mine, the fragment shrapnel. And some mine they hang on a tree like a fruit, down the trip wire to other one. Someone trip the wire, fall from a tree and explode. And some mine they put on the river, like destroy the ship, amphibious. Because a lot of the uh, Russian amphibious used by North Vietnam up Mekong River, the Cambodia again, the Khmer Rouge. So they put a lot of landmine, the seaside. And landmine very, very uh, terrible in the Cambodia when the war ended 1999, 16 years ago, war finished. Today, Cambodia still have the big problem of the landmine. And now a lot of people still working every day. Most working in dry season, draining season, not much work. And we would like to thank a lot for the other country that spent a lot of time and money to helping Cambodia to remove landmines. 
like England, Prince of Diana Charity, Japan, Germany, Australia. I'm very thankful for them.